the coordinates of the points where C crosses the y-axis, giving you answers as simplified thirds. So I've summarized the question here. C crosses the y-axis when x is naught, isn't it? So input x is naught into this, uh, this equation for C. So let's do that then. So here, x equals naught gives. So x is naught will make that zero. We get y squared. We get 4x is naught minus 2y, don't we? As the other non-zero term, and there's also a minus 11. So when does this equal naught then? So we've inputted x equals naught. So let's turn our attention to this problem now. Um, so we've got a quadratic. So y is equal to then minus b minus minus 2 plus or minus the square root of b squared is minus 2 squared, which is, which is 4, minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is minus 11. So that changes it to a plus, all over uh, two lots of a, which is two lots of one, because a is one. So we get four eleven to forty-four plus four is forty-eight, which is sixteen times three. So we get two plus or minus the square root of sixteen times three. That's forty-eight here over two. So that's 2 plus or minus. Root 16, when you split the root up here of this product, will be 4. And then we'll get root 3 all over 2. So there's a co 2 common top and bottom. So we can simply divide by 2 top and bottom all the way through. So we end up with 1 plus or minus 2 root 3. So the coordinates of the points where C crosses the y-axis as simplified thirds. So these are the y values. So um, when y is equal to 1 plus 2 root 3, uh, x equals, well this will be 0 and we'll get the x coordinate, won't we? x is naught, isn't it? So we just simply need to put noughts. So let's just go back uh, and write down the coordinates. So coordinates are then uh, the x value is 0, isn't it? The y value, one of them is 1 plus 2 root 3. And the other value will be 0 again and 1 minus 2 root 3.